Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today is the 7th of August 2022, which means it's Tarot Day! Okay, I've already got the cards, except for my ruin, which I like to do. And as you all know, I've now changed the way I ask for my cards. I now say, please give me one card that represents all those on the white loving side of this war. Okay, because we are in a war here. So, the first card that I got to pull today was from the lovely Louise Benton range of cards. Here's her website if you want to go and get um, a pack of her decks because the link is below if you do want her cards okay she does all the artwork and today's card is this gorgeous one okay and it's called spirit of water oh let's go into this okay behold the sublime realms where spirits dwell transforming transmuting stirring Gaia's ancient well holding the memory of all that has been Awakening hearts to what is unseen. Now, what does this represent to you straight away? Because what I'm getting in there is this is where a lot of people around the world are starting to wake up. There's a lot of people now seeing through all the lies. They're coming out and they're saying, you know what? I got had. I got had. Who needs four things, medical procedures, and I still get it? So now they're asking what is actually in it because it's not for what they said okay cool isn't it okay let's keep going Gaia's lifeblood connecting us all letting the healing begin hear her spirit call okay so if you start getting messages if you start getting intuition start acting on it okay start logging it like a journal or in a diary you know, I say to people, you get a piece of paper, okay, I'll just do it right here, you get a piece of paper, and down the middle, you write a line, down the middle, so let me just do it here live for you, so you, you get a piece of paper like that, okay, and then what you do is just say today you had a dream that's really livid, so you call it the, the date 7 8 22. whoops, my pen's all going over it, and then you write down what it was, okay, so you log it as the 7th, yeah, my pen sort of went everywhere, 7th of the 8th, 22, you write down what it was, and then you put a line across it, like so, right? And then tomorrow, so tomorrow was the 8th of the 8th, 22, so you might have something happen, oh, I met a guy, I just knew that his wife just died, or something like that. So you write that down. So then what happens is you talk to that guy and he says, oh, my wife just died. So you can go on to this side and you say, tick, okay, tick. And then you say, I found out that his wife died. This is a confirmation, confirmation, guys, because when we start waking up, we want our confirmations of what occurs. So you put a line there and then you write something else here, line, something else happens here, you put a line more stuff so you might get a tick here you might get a tick there and you say okay this was a lucid dream that came true this was a lucid dream that came true this was a lucid dream that came true so now i know out of all my psychic stuff i'm getting lucid dreams that come true this is how we record it so then we know what is actually going on with us innately naturally okay all right so there's a little tip for you guys okay so let's go back to the card where was I up to? Hear her spirit call, okay? Same life, same blood. There is no separation. Well, we all know that. Hello, I died. I went to heaven. Everyone is one. Universal laws, number one, says everything is one, right? We are all part of this divine creation. With love's intention, water transforms. And heart's crystalline structure is born. Which means that we are transforming right now around the world. We're getting stronger, guys. The more we believe in what we are, the more we are getting stronger. Okay? Essence of the sacred life. Holder of our ancient rites. So, go back in time. Let's go back to the 1980s before all this stuff started. Okay? Who were you? What were you wanting to do in your future? You know, if you're not that old, go back 10 years. Who were you? When you were a kid, 
You know, who were you? What were your dreams and goals that you always wanted to be? Did you seriously tell people, oh, I want to be kept inside for three years. I don't want to leave my house. I want to be scared of leaving in case I get a disease. I don't think anybody said that 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, right? We all said, I want freedom. I want to be able to do what I want. I want to be in a world where there's no judgment, no accusations, and we all care and love about each other. Isn't that what we all want to be? Isn't that why people want to be firemen, police officers? They all want to be vets because we all care about somebody else. Let's get back to it, okay? Okay. Um, Reflection of what we hold inside shows us how to turn the tide. So here we go, guys. We look inside ourselves and this is how we're going to win this war. Go back into who you truly are. Are you a generous, kind, loving person? Start spreading that love to everybody else. Be kind to other people. Open doors for people. You know, it's all right to walk past someone and say, hello, how's your day going? Okay. And then down the bottom, this card says, I transform the world around me with my thoughts. This is how we're going to win this war, guys. What we think we create. Okay. So what is it that we're all creating? This is how we're winning. It is. We are on that tip of the iceberg now where we've come up that I think I can, I think I can. Okay. And now we're sitting at the precipice on the top of the range and we can either go back down or spread our wings and fly. Which way do you want to go, guys? Do you want to fall back down into the crevice or do you want to spread your wings? Okay. Because the next card they told me to pull was my tarot card. And the card for today is the Queen of Wands. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay. Does this look like a woman who's about to fall down into the crevice? Let's go and see what the Queen of Wands has to say. So here she is in my book. I don't read this first. I just open up the book and I put my ruler in there so I know where to go so I can read it. Okay. Okay, if this woman were a full-time mother, you would still find her volunteering at the school fair, ferrying other children to and from school and running other errands in between. She has endless energy and thrives on being busy. At work, her desk would look like a merry chaos, but she can find everything. She's the one flying around with the clipboard, energetic, organising everyone else, full of ideas, cheerfully encouraging others into action. She can be quite ambitious and certainly has the energy and drive to ensure ensure she succeeds. But because she's always so busy packing everything into her 24 hours, she can tend to lack detail and her chaos may make her look forgetful. Quantity rather than quality. Okay? But this aspect of herself is usually humorously forgiven due to her helpful and cheerful nature. So this is a woman who does everything for everybody else. This is a woman who's kind, generous, loving, forgiving, and most of all, enduring. She's the, she's the strength to keep us going, okay? Because that's what the cards are saying. Look within. Find out who you truly are. And if you are a nice, generous, loving person, then the queen is going to stand up and help us win this war, Okay? Now, my next little lovey-dovey card that I got asked to pull today from my lovely lady. Lovey, lovey, lovey cards. I love these cards. Okay. Love has no need to fabricate stories or tell lies. Love has no need. You know how I've always been saying there's so much lies and deceit? Guess who's the one telling all the lies and deceit? It's not us. It's not us good ones on the good side of the fence, is it? No. So this is where we can justify ourselves and say, you know what? I'm not the one lying here. I'm not the one fabricating. I'm not the one making up stories to fit the agenda. I'm not the one saying trust in the science. Huh. I hope I've just given you a little inkling there of what is going on this week, guys. Okay, because this is huge. It's huge. We are winning the war. And you know what? <clears throat> what happens when one side is in the lead? of a, Let's just look at football. Okay, everybody knows football. You've got two teams. They both get a couple of scores. Boom, 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 boom. Now the score is 15 to 14, and it's the final minute of play. 
How is that team that's feeling they're on 14, they need one point to either draw or win? One point is all we need. They're attacking. They're de- oh, they've got the defences out. They've got their aggressiveness happening. They don't like losing, right? That's where it is now. These little suckers, okay, because they are little suckers, these little negative entities, right, that are running the show, they're scrambling because they don't know how to deal with this great vibration that we're creating. It's true. It's true. The more we love, the more we cherish, the more we treasure and adore all those around us, the more we are winning this war because they have to scramble and hide. Go back under your rock. That's what I say. I send you love. I send you love, but go back under your rock because you're not needed here. Okay. My all my ruined cards. Here they are. Well, my stones, I should say. My ruined stones. Okay. One stone that represents what the whole world for those who are on the right loving side of the universal energies, those in the white loving light. One stone to represent what we need to hear this week. Oh, here it is. It's down in there. It's this one. Oh, out of all the stones, it's the one that's the different color. Look, he's a different color. Okay, so I'm not too sure how this guy stands. He's either that way. Let me just get him on the there. He's either that way or he is that way. Now, I pulled him out that way. So let's go and find him first. I'll just put my stones over there. Let's go find him in my book. At least you know I do these ones live, right? Where is he? What does he look like? He looks like a tick. Oh, and I do have him upside down. Okay. So here he is. It's this one here. And I actually have him upside down. This is a first for Linda. Look, I've got him upside down. So I'll just turn him around the other way so you can see that that is actually him. Yeah, that's him. Right, that's him. But I got him upside down. So when I read my cards, there's the up the right way, face up or face down. So because he's upside down, I'm gonna read these ones today. I've never done this before in all my tarot readings. I've always read the face up ones. Okay, so first of all, where's he got? Here he is. He's called Lagus. 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 Okay, and it's the water. It's the symbol of the ocean. Look, I can't make this stuff up because here's the spirit of the water. Oh my God, I love it how all these cards are intermingled. Now, before we go there, before I read these out, just remember, water amplifies conduit. It's a conduit of electricity. It amplifies what we think. So guys, and isn't it funny, right now, I've got my cup and I've also got my bottle of water sitting here. Now, I had them here from last night because I did a video last night about energy vampires. So I always have a glass of water next to me, but I left them here last night. And isn't it funny how now I've got this here. So I'm going to just give you all a little gift. Here's a gift midway through my reading today, right? I hope you like this. Get yourself some water. Now, I only drink 100% spring water. Look, there it is on there, guys. I just want to see it. 100% spring water. There's nothing else in there. No chemicals, especially no fluoride. Okay? Guess what is in the money plocks vaccine? Heaps of fluoride. So don't take it because what fluoride does is attacks our pineal gland. It dumbs us down and turns us into sheep. Isn't this what they want? Huh. Funny how we've now got a money plocks vaccine. cases you know I was watching a doctor the other day he said you're lucky if you get one a year now we're getting 50 in a week funny that when it's also listed on the nine pages of certain symptoms that you get from a certain medical procedure funny that hey okay so what I've just done while I was talking 
I just put some water into my glass and you give it love. You say, I love you, water. You're the best water on the planet. I'm so treasured to know you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You put all your love into the water. You say things like, I treasure you. You are the best. You bring out the best in people. You're caring. You're loving. You're supportive. I can't believe how appreciated you're so caring. And all those other synonyms synonyms that mean all the good stuff about life because now that we've energized it guess what we do oh and i can feel it going down because it's so cold <laughs> pardon me just burped but now i've got all those words inside me oh, i can feel it within me I am appreciated, I am appreciative, I am special and I give special to others, I am love and I love others, I don't know if you just saw that but this white big orb just came down right here in front of my face, it was like two inches from my face just then, don't know if you saw that, I saw it, energy is working around me now, there's another one. Oh my god it was just here, just here, there's energy around me. I don't know if you saw that on the video. I'm going to have to watch this, okay? 16 minutes, I'm in. So I'll watch it later and see if I can see the energy around me because they're all coming in now because I am this beautiful, white, loving ball of energy. Oh, try it at home, guys. All you need is water and you send all your love and then you drink it. It's beautiful because the message today is water, okay? Now, let's go back. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Lagos. Lagos is the ruin of today and I'm going to read the inverted one because he's upside down okay first of all I'll read what's in yellow just here okay and it says symbol of the ocean used by Nordic peoples to travel and make new discoveries the symbol of adventure a journey into the unknown a leap of faith now isn't that what we're all doing now having a leap of faith we're trusting uncharted waters you know we've never been in total um lockdown around the whole world we've never had eight billion people all in under the same spell because <laughs> it is a spell that we're under okay some of us are breaking out of it so let me read the downside of this okay if it's on face down may indicate a leap of faith or change has been undertaken recklessly and may need be unsuccessful well that doesn't mean it's the future guys it just means it's the past now you look at the past two years how unsuccessful has it been for us yeah there's lawsuit after lawsuit going through trying to stop all this and it's all getting rebuked it's all getting thrown out of court it has been unsuccessful okay consider if action needs to be taken now to leave an unfavorable situation okay so this could be work it could be a relationship it could be a hobby that you don't like anymore it's where we sit and we reevaluate ourselves and we wake up one day and you say you know what i just don't want to do that anymore and you say executive decision linda that's what i say if i make an executive decision it means it's unbreakable i am not going to change my mind so someone rings me up and they say linda do you want to go out tomorrow night and i say oh yeah i might do this i might do that yeah let's see how it goes but then when i say okay i am coming i've made the executive decision i will be there at seven nothing else can happen unless i go an emergency but i will be there at seven because i've made that executive decision okay so so this is where we have to think about what's been going wrong for us in the past time to step up to the plate and say you know what that didn't work out so right for me i'm going to change what i'm doing and start doing it this way i'm going to take that leap of faith and trust my gut okay okay uh yeah um uh, last one means be cautious question what your intuition is telling you okay big week guys this is where we start changing what we're doing because in the past it hasn't worked <laughs> let's go there it hasn't worked much for any of us has it you know who actually can sit there and say sorry my eyes water because i do energy work right who honestly can sit there and say my life is going great 
not too many of us. So this is where we sit down and say, you know what? Everything I've been doing up until this point, we've got there. Yeah, don't blame yourself. It's all happening for a reason, guys, okay? But we say, you know what? I've got to change some things around. I've got to start doing things differently. What can I do differently now? It's your gut. It's your intuition, guys, that you've got to learn to trust here. You know, um, last night on Facebook, in my paranormal group, I've started doing live free readings. So the link is in the description if you do want to come along. I do make an announcement when I'm going to do them because I like doing them at different times so people all over the world can be there recording with their time um, time zones, okay? So I did one last night, so I'll probably do another one on maybe Wednesday or Thursday this week. Um, so be on the lookout in my group. Please join if you're not a member. Please answer the question so you get approved. All you do is yes, 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 yes okay come along because then you can ask me live questions okay um i had some good results last night i got some beautiful emails from people saying what you just said was the truth so i am humbled that i am a good psychic okay um also below i have my tip jar if you do want to throw in some dollars um, to help me support this channel help me upgrade my equipment <laughs> okay because I'd love it to have a camera where you can see the cards as I pull them down okay I want to get some better graphics in my videos etc but today the queen is telling us keep busy she's the one out there giving out all the love all the attention okay she's the one out there caring for everybody else please be like her you know if someone says to you today hey who do you want to be say I want to be like the queen of wands I want to be her okay I want to be this woman standing there proud she does everything for everybody else okay because I don't need to fabricate my life I don't need to justify who I am anymore I don't have to sit there and pretend because I don't lie about what I do and most of all guys remember the water because ultimately the water <laughs> just like this little guy and I'm going to hold him because I got him up, upturned so I'm going to put him that way everything is now at the tipping point guys don't fall into the crevice fly spread those wings and look down from the skies you don't have to poo on anybody like a pigeon you don't have to look down and go eh, eh, i'm above you it's nothing like that don't compare but be the best version of you possible now one little last thing I'm going to tell you I'm wearing a new dress today okay this is a dress okay so I'm going to stand up and show you my new dress okay it's actually a dress I love it because it's got pockets on the side okay it goes all the way around okay this is my new dress I went into a local shop and I saw it and it was $129 marked down to $69 so I went back a few days because she said don't buy it yet Linda I, said, I love it I love the color of it um, she said don't buy it yet so I trusted I went back a few days later and it was down to $49 and I tried it on I thought come on you know they had about eight now they're down to like three she said don't do it yet don't do it yet so on Friday after I dropped Tashi to her dad's I stopped in there and it was one dress it fitted me and it was reduced to 29 bucks so it was 129 down to 29 bucks so I keep this because this is a proof that we need huh? remember I was telling you like the diary keep it like a diary so I keep this and I say I could have bought it there I could have bought it there I could have bought it there but look what I got it for because I trusted the message of don't do it yet the more we do this, guys, the more we trust it and the more we get our physical confirmations that what we're doing is working, the more we're creating it to happen more in the future. Okay? Drink your water. Drink your water and tell the water, I am so psychic today. I want to be the best version of myself today. I want happiness. I want health. I want prosperity. I want success. Drink it, guzzle it down like your life depends on it because it does. 
and then go out and make this magic happen. Hope you're all having a great day, guys. I know I am. Wearing my new favourite dress. Yay! I feel good. Have a good day, guys. Bye.